my boy, the one day somebody broke my heart. Oh, my parents, I sold a lie. Kill my hands and stand First day, I promise to myself to find them in every place. Cause I, cause I could live no more, no more without you. What's the news? Uh, all bad. There's nothing we can do, Mitchell. Moran has stirred everybody up. Not only his own men, but half the town will be here tomorrow to hang Powell. They're crazy. I tell you, I'm innocent. Even if I can't prove it. Why, she was nothing but a child, younger than my own daughter. I know, Powell, I know. But her body was found on your ranch. You know, Mitchell, who the murderer is. Yes, I know perfectly well, but it doesn't mean anything. They're out to lynch you, and I've got to prevent it at all costs. Then why don't you give me a gun and a horse and give me a chance to get away? Give me a break. No, uh, they'd catch you. Your flight would be like a confession. And even if you did escape, you'd have to go into hiding like, like a fugitive. No, I think there's only one solution to this, Powell. Listen. Doc, you better listen, too. Moran knows that the only way to save you, Powell, is to ask for help from the 4th Regiment. Fort Barkley. That's what he's most worried about. Moran also knows I won't let you get away. That I want you to be tried. So I'll have to put him on the wrong track. I think I have a plan. Doc, you head for Fort Barkley without being seen. We two will go out together, and I'll bring him to my ranch. That's the first place Moran will think about. He'll go there and get him. If he does, he won't find him. I'll tell him he got away. His men will waste time looking for him while we'll be able to wait for the escort that accompanies the Southern California stagecoach. I'll deliver Powell to them so we'll be able to get a fair trial when he gets to El Paso. Then we can prove that Powell is an innocent man. 
that his only crime was preventing Moran from taking possession of the water rights in his ranch. Then we'll see who'll pay for the murder of that poor little girl. Yes, Powell? You'll be able to come back with your family in a clear name. All right, Doc, you better get ready. We haven't got much time. Yeah. Good luck to you, Powell. It's going to work out, you'll see. Oh, now they should see you give up. But try to make them lose as much time as possible. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Mitchell. Let's go into Fort Barclay. Go after him. Take him to Miranda. Powell, I hope it's clear. If anything happens, I won't let you get away. Sam, or I'll have to arrest you. A sheriff who helps a prisoner escape has no right to arrest anybody. I'm transferring the prisoner. Three seconds to turn back, or I'm going to shoot. <laughs> See how our darling daughter helps me? Don't be too long. Powell, bring him out. You're too late, Moran. Powell's gone. He killed one of your men and escaped to the mountains. And why did you go after him? In the dark, it was useless. So I sent Dr. Fort Barkley. When he returns with the soldiers, we'll organize a search. Don't worry about it. We'll find him. Doc's right here. He's not getting any soldiers. Moran, it's a crime to hold prisoner or representative of the law. And you know it. Doc is not my prisoner. He's one of my men. And when we get rid of you and Powell, I'll see that he's made sheriff. Doc here's a smart man, and he's aiming for a good deal. So he's decided to work for me. You're too late, Moran. Powell's gone. Better. Listen, I warn you. You got 10 seconds. If you two don't surrender, I'll shoot down the whole family. Wait. Where are you going? I've had it. I'll give myself up. I'm already giving you enough trouble. But can't you see we've fallen into a trap? Moran wants the both of us. Because he hates you, and because he knows I won't take any orders from him. What can we do? Fight him off until the escort arrives with the stagecoach. Here, you better have this. I've lost my patience, Mitchell. The ten seconds are up.
go upstairs. I'll try to take him by surprise. See that murderer Powell swing it from a tree. You'll be killed too, Mr. Sheriff. As his accomplice. You're a criminal. Kill me. But my family had nothing to do with it. Why? Well, you murdered my son. He died fighting. He had a gun. You're gonna pay for killing my son. I'm gonna kill your family. Bring that child here. Oh, no. No! Judy! Prepare the rope for him. Thanks, Sheriff, for everything you've done for me. Pretty little girl you got. How about your son? Where's he? Lucky thing he's not here. At least him you won't murder. I know you're lying, Mitchell. Well, don't you worry. I'll get your son yet. We're ready, boss. Well, Powell, 
You're gonna get what's coming here. You should have known better than to set yourself against me. And now you're gonna pay for it. All right, yet. As you see, Sheriff, Moran always keeps his word. He was against me, so he paid for it. But I'm willing to save you, Mitchell, if you do as I tell you. It's a thing you wouldn't understand, Moran. But I'd rather die than be a murderer. All right. You're through, Mitchell. My son is dead. <laughs> you can't do that! My son, killing to obtain food is permitted. Killing only for the sake of killing is most wicked in the eyes of our Lord. You know that. Come along. Father, look! Oh. Give me the water. Who are you, son? Where is it your parents live? <laughs> Mark, go tell your mother to prepare hot water, milk and honey. Hurry, run. Come on, my boy. No, leave it. You won't be needing that anymore. From now on, you're never going to need it. It was my father's. <laughs> that boy never stops from dawn to sundown. He's always at it. That boy never stops from dawn to sundown. He's always at it. His desire for vengeance is the only emotion he has left. Best to leave him alone. You're right. Mark, take him a plate or two and come right back. All right, Ma. Smells nice, Ma. Mm, she'll end up 
for being a cook. You'll see, you'll see, one must never give up hope, my son. <laughs> I don't think that's at all funny. Mark. Almighty God, we thank thee for the food we're about to receive. Amen. Well, I'll tell you, wife. I am hungry. Well, eat then. I brought you something to eat, brother. Well, I'm not hungry, Mark. Huh? Well, then, in that case, I'll eat it myself. I'll be an extra helping. I'm glad. I'm leaving, Mark. You just decided? In a kind of way, yes. But I knew it would happen. Sometime or other, I was counting on coming close to danger pass. I want to look for the man who murdered my parents. Mm. So you can kill him, I suppose. I don't know. Sure you know, to kill him. Yes, Moran will pay for it. Is it a dishonor for a son to avenge the death of his own parents? Mark, please. You must understand me. It's my bounden duty, Mark. We Quakers are enemies of any type of violence. We believe that killing is wicked against the will of the Lord. Uh, and I think our belief is right. <laughs> no, brother. Don't give me any of your preaching. Please, why don't you stay and think it over, Alex? No, Mark, I've already done that. I've decided. So, so you're really going? That's right, Mark. I'm really going. Are you coming back? Well, well I found my sister. I sure hate to leave you all. Because, you see, after all these years, your family is my family. Your mother's my mother. And you're my brother. Listen, Mark, you always like this. Goodbye, brother. If that is what you really want to do, I cannot prevent you, in my, my son. Look, father, I must go along with him. Uh, but... But why? I don't know. Perhaps he needs me in some way. I must not abandon Alex, Father. He's my brother. All right, Mark. But you must promise me one thing. Don't forget our religion, ever. And never use any violence, whatever the occasion. And don't touch a weapon. I promise, Father. May God protect you, my son. God willing, your mother and me, we'll wait for you. Goodbye, Father. What can I do for you? Quite a lot. Johnny Miller. You know me. Long ago, you promised to, to teach me to draw a fast gun, Miller. Alex! But I believed you to be dead and buried. <laughs> Your sister, Judy. Have you been able to see her? I came here to see her on purpose. Uh, how is she? Well, you can imagine. She's badly off. You, you're a man. It's different. Being an orphan, a girl's a pretty rough time of it. She had no childhood, poor thing. Without a family to give her love, she needed help. 
But we were powerless. Going against Moran means your life. She's staying with the Morans? Yes. Unluckily, she is. But now you must come in and have something most important thing. We can talk in peace, and I can tell you everything there is to know. That's why you must be careful. Keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry. May I stay here, Millie? My, that's stupid to ask. This is your house, son. But I don't know if I can do anything to help you, Alex. My hand's in pretty bad shape after all these years. Thanks, Miller. Tell me, how can I find Judy? I'll bring her here tomorrow. Tonight, I'll take a look around Danger Pass. You better stop! I'm sick of that plan of yours! We came here to hear Edith sing! And Why don't you shut up? She'll be singing later. Where is Edith? She's in her room. She's coming now. Is my son with her? Yes, Mr. Moran. I hired you to entertain the customers. Not to play around with my son. Be it, Edith. And watch your step from now on. I was only with her for a couple of minutes. Don't get mad now, Papa. I don't want you to leave the saloon even for a minute. I put you here to work, not to spend your time with that woman. Do you understand? Don't let me have to tell you again. Your big brother was made of better stuff.
call the sheriff. Just where do you think you're going? You leave when I tell you to leave. And now you're going to listen to me. Next time you allow yourself to be touched by a man, I swear you'll pay. Charlie, you're just a killer. Oh! You're nothing but a murderer. I hate you. Well then, you all saw Charlie shoot this man in self-defense, didn't you? Is that right? Why don't you answer his question? I'm talking to you. I don't happen to see his gun. Take a look now. Yeah. I see it now. It was self-defense. With the Morans, that's how you end up. Wait. Where are you going, you idiot? Can't you see he's unarmed? You should think twice before shooting an unarmed stranger. You never could tell who he could be. He's just a cowboy who came in to see Edith. Hmm. I know that type by now. Do you? I know that today they're happy because you've come back to avenge their death. I don't know, Judy. I guess where they are, vengeance is a forgotten thing. What's that? Well, I was only thinking. Come on, Judy. No. First, you must promise me, here at their grave, to avenge them. I'm full of hate for Moran, Judy. But now I realize you hate him more than I do. I've waited for this for years. You've no idea what it's meant. Washing the plates they eat out of, the mugs they drink from, making the beds they sleep in. All these years I've had to put up with it. I wonder if you can understand me, brother. I'm only going to find rest when that murderer Moran is lying dead at my feet. Alex, my dream is that vengeance will be carried out before I die. Because otherwise, what could be the use of all the humiliations, the sacrifices that I went through waiting for you to come back? You were my only hope. I know what you mean, Judy. I too hoped a long time for this moment. I know what I have to do. I'm happy. Now, let's be going now. I'll accompany Judy into town. It's better if they don't see us together. They might suspect something, Alex. Yeah, you're right. Now, tomorrow I'll see you at the ranch. I have a lot of things to do, Judy. Be careful, Alex. Don't you worry about me. So long, Alex. See you tomorrow, Miller. So long, Judy. Here. Thanks. Young man, see if you like this one. <laughs> What's it cost? Ten dollars with the bullets.
Well, so long. This is a great day for me. Is that so? Why? Uh, today I became a man at last. You see this gun? It's a gift from my father. Have you finished? Ten more minutes. Bob. Morning, Mr. Fernandez. Morning. Say, who's that? I don't know. I never saw him before. He told me that rifle was a present from his father and that today he had become a man. Hmm. Thanks. So long. Good day, sir. Celebration or something? What's it for? What's all the fuss about? Well, where are you from, young man? Why, even in Arkansas, they know that Moran's daughter's getting married tomorrow morning. Moran's daughter? Hmm. To whom? To Doc, the sheriff. For many years, Danger Pass has been waiting for this marriage. Ever since Gloria was eight years old. Do you mean it's a reward for loyalty? Better not talk like that, my boy. It's a good idea to keep your mouth shut in this place. I'd like a whiskey. What are you doing in this place, Mark? I advise you to get out of this town right away. Everyone's free to go where he wants, Alex. If you get in the way or play any of your tricks, then I'm going to have to kill you too, brother. Know something? I just don't think so. <laughs> you ought to stop working so hard. Uh, if I don't work, who's going to do it for me? <laughs> What's on your mind? Do you think you can do it, Alex? In all that confusion, I think so. Yeah, it should go real easy. But where am I going to get the dynamite? You can buy it in town. That's the simplest way. <laughs> no. They might suspect. I'd better steal it tonight. I'll go with you. No. You've got to stay clear out of it. If we're seen together, they'd suspect. And all our hopes would be nothing but a bag of dreams.
Howdy, Doc. Howdy, Moran. Alex, wait. Don't go away. But I can't let you go through with this. Out of my way. You mustn't do this thing. Why not? Don't they deserve it after what they did to my parents? Do you remember, Mark? But the guilty ones are Moran and Doc. The others are all innocent. Those who close their eyes to injustices are as bad as the people who actually have committed them. Your own father said it. No. You're not going to do it. I see. And just who's going to stop me, Mark? I will, Alex. Oh, I thought your religious faith forbid you to use weapons against your fellow man for any reason whatsoever. I'm only doing it to save those people, Alex. I swear I'll shoot you if you try to make use of that there dynamite. All right, that's the deal. No, it's a terrible crime. I'll shoot. If you don't put out that dynamite, I'll be in there too. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen, before sitting down to eat, let's all go to the bar and have a drink. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you, Judge. I think we've got a right to drink, too, don't you think so? Huh? <laughs> I said I want to come in, you hear me? Why can't I also drink to the hell of the bride and the bridegroom, huh? That's one little oh, drink. That's right. Let's all celebrate. Let him in. Make him drink and then throw him out of here. <laughs> Edith will sing us one of her favorite songs. Come on, Edith, let's hear you sing. <laughs> I want a whiskey. <laughs> I'll sing you an old song that's still popular in Ireland where I come from. And I wish to dedicate it to the newlyweds. <laughs> <laughs> to the newlyweds! What? 
Dancing with me. You really sing mighty pretty, miss. <laughs> oh, well, don't tell me you'd shoot a drunken man. Oh, let's forget the guns and bat it out like real men. How about it, mister? Don't tell me you're afraid of me. You willing? <laughs> well, why not? It'll be a little extra entertainment for the wedding guests. Get rid of that, huh? <laughs> Don't interfere. I want to take care of him myself. Give him to you. I give him back to you again, Moran. Father of a son who's an idiot. And a daughter who's real pretty. Please accept my thanks. And all my gratitude for inviting me to the wedding. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. For occasion I'll always remember. Goodbye, Mr. Moran. Drop that gun! you dirty bitch. Why did you do it? Why did you try to save him? Tell me! Talk! 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 Yes. I'll tell you, Charlie. For 12 years, I've been waiting for the moment to tell you what I think of you. I hate you! 
But now the waiting's over, it'll be your turn to die, Charlie. You're through. You're through, you hear that? Everybody hates the whole Moran family. Why don't you tell him? They're all afraid of you, but I'm not afraid of you. This is the day I've been hoping for. Hoping for years. Do you hear that? For years. Today all my dreams have come true because I saw your father shot down like a dog. I received my reward. For all these years I got treated like dirt. All these years that I hated you for humiliating me so much. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! You bitch! <laughs> So you want to know who that man is? It's Alex, my brother. Who do you suppose could wish for your father's death as much as I, if not my brother? That's why he came back. Now you know everything. You can kill me if you want, I don't care. I'd be happy to die because I finally have my revenge. Now kill me. What are you waiting for? Kill me. Kill you? No, I'm not going to kill you. Because I want you alive, now that I've found out the man you saved is your brother. If he has any friends here, tell him this. He's got exactly 24 hours to come here unarmed. Otherwise, this whip will end it for his sister. And if no one here knows him, it makes no difference. Because I'll beat her to death. Bring her in. Someone's coming. You better stay here. Hold it, stranger. What are you doing around these parts? I'm looking for Alex. Alex? I don't know what you're talking about. Who is he? He's my brother, Miller. Since when did you have a brother? Well, he's the son of the man who brought me up, you see. Mark and I are just like brothers. We've been together for 12 years. Mark, get down, will you? Explain to me why you're here. Criminal. <laughs> Tell the truth now, brother. Have you come to preach a sermon? You see, Mark is a Quaker's son, and he enjoys preaching. I'm happy. Yes, sirree. Moran was shot to death by his own son, which means real divine justice. Alex is damned right to feel satisfaction, preacher. And I'm sure everybody at Danger Pass is mighty glad of what happened. And Iran only got what was coming to him. You can bet on that. I warned you, brother. Violence just calls for more violence, Alex. And now Charlie will be at it so that he can get back at you. <laughs> Let him just try. He will try. And in a terrible way. He whipped your sister without mercy in front of the whole town. Julie, but why? Who was it that told him I was her brother? Was it you? No. She was the one who told him. Charlie wants to avenge his father. And he promised he'd whip her to death if you don't go to him within 24 hours. Unarmed. Unarmed, but that'd be real madness. Yes. A terrible choice is facing you, Alex. I guess I'll have to face it. Alex, I've already spoken to some of the men in town. They'd be willing to help you. I'm afraid we wouldn't save Judy in time. Well, brother, don't you have any ideas? Ideas of what we need at this moment, not your preaching sermons, you hear? Well, I think I have an idea that may be useful. Charlie has a sister, doesn't he? If we kidnapped his sister, then maybe she could be used as a hostage in exchange for Judy. Mark, that's fine. Your idea is not at all bad. Yes, it might be the best solution, all right. You can count on me, but now look on one condition. Oh, no. I want no conditions, and I won't be needing your help. But I thank you for your idea. You'll respect the girl, won't you, Alex? She didn't do anything. She had nothing to do with the murder of your parents. Why, sure. Sure. Right, Mark. 
I'm only looking to free Judy. You're not able to do it alone. It's not going to be easy. You can be sure Doc put all his men to guard the ranch. Now that he knows who you are. Go into Danger Pass and see if you can find out where they've hidden Judy. And please don't worry about me. Remember one thing. This is Doc's wedding night. Salve, Alex. You're late coming. And that's not very nice, because as you know, tonight happens to be my wedding night. Prepare a rope for my dear friend. Did you think I was so stupid that I wouldn't guess you'd make a move like this? Kidnapping my wife in exchange for Judy? You made the wrong move this time. Take him out. Sorry, but you come from an unlucky family, Alex. Get it over with, Doc. Stop! If you love your wife, you better free Alex. I'll give you ten seconds, and then I'll shoot. What do you say? Perhaps it's not convenient to uh, deprive yourself of such a pretty sweet wife. <laughs> Make up your mind. Not a side, Doc. Set him free. 
Did you hear that? Let him down. I don't come from such an unlucky family after all. Your hanging is only a matter of time, Alex. There are two of us who want to see you dead. Mark, bring the horses over here. Gun. Easy, Doc. No wrong move. Come along. Ma'am, we're going to take a little trip together. Sleepy. You go to bed. I'll watch her, don't worry. I prefer to watch her myself, brother. Anyway, I'm waiting for Miller. I must talk to him. Then I'll stay up with you. drink too? You never drink. It's only to warm up a bit. It's very cold tonight. tired. Mark, you're trying to watch over me. I want to be alone with her. Why? Her father disfigured Judy's face with a lashing. And her brother whipped her in front of the whole town. You're not going to do this girl any harm, Alex. Cut it out. Alex, don't be stupid now. Oh, yeah? Keep out of it. Now, you listen to me, Alex. This girl's never done any harm, either to you or to your sister, Judy. Too much innocent blood has been shed already. I want revenge. Revenge, do you hear? No one has a right to take justice into his own hands. Remember, I only helped you in order to save Judy. I don't care. Don't forget they killed my parents. I want to do to them what they did to us. No, I'm not going to let you do it.
Mark, go away. Get out of here. Don't make me mad now. Don't force me to beat you, Mark. Then let her alone. There's no other solution. Get out of here. <laughs> By the way, congratulations for what you did last night. You proved you were pretty brave. Shooting down men who weren't armed. You know that's not true. That was especially that bastard you killed yesterday. I've never forgotten the day when he killed my mother. Just what you'd come here for? My sister. What makes you think she'll be turned over to you? I'm dead sure she'll be turned over to me. In exchange for? Your sister. Look, I'm dealing out the cards here. I don't think you really understand what the situation is. Where's Gloria? Oh, I understand the situation perfectly. And I don't think you're dealing the cards. And now you better listen. If my sister isn't freed immediately, Gloria will be killed. A whiskey. I'm with you. We'll make the exchange at the same time. Then it's between us. Well, all right, but only on one condition. What condition? The exchange must take place outside, where the whole town can see it. And I'll only turn over Gloria when Judy is safely out of here. What if I don't agree to accept your condition? Your sister would die too. I always keep my word. And you, Charlie? Sure I will. We'll do it your way. I'll see you outside in an hour. Hmm. Want me to follow him? No. He'll fall into the trap by himself. Go to the ranch and get the others. I'll be waiting for you here. We'll give them a warm welcome. 
We've got an hour's time. Go on, hurry up. What are you waiting for? Hey, Gloria. Well, come on, hurry. Your little brother's kept waiting. He just might get nervous. Ain't that right, Miller? I don't trust Charlie one bit. I'm sure he's up to something. It's likely, but we have many friends. All planned? Don't you worry about it. If he tries any tricks, it's the last one he plays. Thanks, Miller. You're beautiful. Very beautiful. Too bad there's all this blood between us. And to think there's going to be a lot more bloodshed to come. Now I'm taking a danger pass, Mark. No, Alex. Charlie's prepared an ambush. His men are waiting for you. You can't go. Look, Mark, you mustn't worry about me. It'll be all right. Alex. What more do you want? I wanted to ask you if you would forgive me. You must forgive me. I want your forgiveness for what I'm going to do now. I don't know what you mean, Mark. No. I know my brother. I trust in the will of the Lord. You mustn't, Mark. He'll kill you. No, Gloria. I'm afraid it's too late. Come on, Alex. You gonna bring her? We had an agreement, Charlie. I'm tired. ask questions. Take the wagon and go to Miller's ranch. Alex is there waiting for you. I'll hold out here. Fancy meeting you. 
So our dear Alex backed out at the very last moment, huh? No, Charlie. He didn't. It's all my doing. I don't want to see any more killing at Danger Pass. Hasn't there been enough already? Vengeance against vengeance will get the two of you nowhere. Alex is my adopted brother. I expected you would try to kill him as soon as he turned over Gloria to you, so I came in his place. I beg you, lay down your gun, Charlie. Gloria's come back. And Alex and Judy will leave this town forever. I know what I'm doing. And I don't want any of your preaching. I'm a Quaker, and my religion rejects all violence. Is that so? But that ain't my religion. Give him a gun. Now use it. It's useless, Charlie. I'll not kill a man. Is that so? Well, let's see if we can't make you change your mind. No, Charlie! All right, come on. Try your gun. Defend yourself! I'm waiting for you. Don't be afraid, you'll die without even noticing it. Defend yourself, preacher, or I'll plug your puny body full of lead. Start praying, fool! right away. I'll come and get you later. Don't go into town, Alex. They've prepared a trap for you. Don't worry about me. Miller's arriving with his men. Besides, I can't abandon Mark. Hurry. Yeah. You can do what you want, Charlie. I'll never betray my principles. These hands will never be able to use a weapon. My patience has reached the limit. One move from your men and I'll shoot you down like a mad dog. I'm warning you, Charlie. Now, you know, I find this game very interesting, and I think I'd like to play it myself, even if I haven't been asked. Maybe I should have killed you from the very start, you bloody murderer. But I'll give you the opportunity to defend yourself. Pick that pistol up. Charlie, come on, I'm waiting. Don't be scared, Charlie. Grab your gun. Your father didn't give my father a chance to defend himself. The hour of vengeance has struck. Take a good look at your boss and see how he's trembling. Try and control yourself. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> 
one day somebody broke my heart Oh my parents, I saw the light Killed by hands, hands without name That day, I promised to myself To find them in every place Cause I, cause I couldn't live no more 